Okay, um, meetings are very dangerous. This is where most of the damage is transacted, right? You're in deep trouble. Now, there's a couple of things you don't have to go. What are you going to do if you don't go? So if you see yourself as being set up, this is going to be a disaster, I don't think I'm going to be, just don't go. Sorry, not feeling like it today. What are they going to do? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay, but then they can't wear, make you wear it. Okay, always, 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 if you don't remember anything else about this, always go to a meeting with a friend. Never go by yourself. This is even in positive schools. Because you can come unraveled and then you, someone says, well, we decided at that meeting. You say, I didn't decide that at the meeting. It's you against the four other people in the meeting. Who's going to win? You go along with your friend, particularly if that friend's taking notes, they can't do it to you. <clears throat> okay. Um, <laughs> why not take up to four? That's only, I'm only half joking, actually. Okay. These are things that they have had happen, and some of you may have experienced these. You walk in a room, there's 14 professionals around the room. You walk in, there's glances going across the room, there's people watching. You, clearly they've had a pre-meeting to decide what, what they're going to do for you. And then they introduce all these professionals. And um, yeah, you know that you're in deep trouble. Any of you been to one of those meetings? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So these are things we've got to be aware of. So, if you're coming off those meetings, make sure you have a clear idea what it's about, get an agenda. Okay, can you send me the agenda? And if your stuff isn't on the agenda, make sure your stuff is, gets on the agenda. Always expect the best. Most people are nice. Most people want to be helpful, etc. but you've got to be prepared for the worst, always. Um, particularly when you've got these nice people all saying this is going to be best for your son or daughter. It's very easy to get swept up into this. And then you come home and sort of say, what have I done? You know, this is sort of a, a really tough. Um, and you've got to know that, you, that as a parent, there's nothing more important than protecting your child. And particularly if you've got a child with a disability, you know that this is a continual thing. It's very easy to break down in a meeting. You know, this is, uh, you've got to be aware of how am I actually going to handle that. And maybe I've just got to go. You just get up and leave. What are they going to do? Okay, <clears throat> now seating is quite important. You sit next to the most powerful person because they can't attack you. You try and attack the person sitting next to you. It's really hard. You're in their personal space and you really upset them. It throws them really badly. Even if it's a nice person, nice meeting, you just make sure that you're evening out the power dynamics. If you sit across the table from them, they've got you. That's a very powerful thing. We even have people have their friends sit next to the recorder. So then you can know what's actually being recorded. <clears throat> you're trying to tip the balance a bit because they've got the power in the meetings. Okay. Um, yeah, the person coming along with it, can be a neighbour, <laughs> maybe someone you pick up on the way through, it doesn't matter who it is, just have someone there whose only role is to take notes. Now if they wear a really pinstripe suit and look like a lawyer, that's a real bonus. <laughs> okay. Now, it's very rare to be in a meeting where there isn't someone who's listening to you. Watch for the body language. You'll get the body language of the people who are you know, looking over the top of their glasses, but you'll also see some other people who are just potentially allies. Look for them and see if you can work on them afterwards <clears throat> in relation to that situation. Okay, now immediately after a meeting, put it in writing. What do you think that meeting said? I know this sounds like a hassle, but you put it in writing and say, thank you very much for the meeting today, that was fantastic, I really got a great, great feeling out of the room. My understanding is we, we decided that, A, B, C, D, E. Now, if they don't reply, that, that becomes the minutes of the meeting. You've then got that, this is what you decided. I checked this with you at the time, I sent you the email. 
If they come back, no, 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 this isn't what it was, what it was supposed to be, okay, they've then got to react to it. And then, they've got to, then you've got them actually saying, what did you really mean then? And you can, you've got to point a dispute. Even if you um, come out with the minutes, even if you've signed off the minutes, do you have that sort of thing? Where they, you sign the minutes and you just want it to get out of the room? If, even if you disagree with it and you, you realise, oh, I've just signed this, you write back and sort of say, look, I was just distraught at the time, I didn't agree with it, dung, 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 dung. Then you're, they can't railroad you into a situation where you don't agree with it. 